I think Magic is a game that's meant to be played by the rules. And if at any point you think the rules are giving a, a player an unfair advantage, you should be upset with how the rules are created and not be upset with the player that's trying to take advantage of a bad rule. That's that's my stance on rules lawyering in general. I I really feel like players shouldn't direct their animosity towards the actual player if you feel like the player has wronged someone based on how a rule works. Like, the problem isn't the player. The players should be expected to take every possible chance to give themselves every possible advantage toward be being able to win the game. What you play, you're playing to win the game, especially at, especially at the professional tour. Especially at the professional tour. You're supposed to you're supposed to give yourself every possible advantage. Also, guess what? Again, there's this feeling among more casual players that I see constantly. This this kind of spirit of that like anytime you get a judge involved, someone is angle shooting. Judges are there to help you. You should never be upset with someone calling a judge. You should you shouldn't be. If you if you are a competent professional magic player or someone who understands the rules, you should never be upset that your opponent called the judge. Because guess what? If you're in the right, the judges are gonna know the rules and they're gonna rule in your favor. There's I feel like there's this there's this idea that like calling a judge like makes you a bad player or like you only call judges to get people and like judges are there to make sure the game is played in the appropriate manner. They are there to help the players. I think I'm in large, the judges aren't there to intentionally make mistakes and get you. They are there to make sure the game is played by the rules. Don't, don't, okay, so like, the so you're saying the player lied are you saying if they lied that's a dequeuable offense so if, is that is that the position you're taking you're saying one of the players at the pro tour lied about his opponent were you there listening to everything both players said or are you being judge jury and executioner without having all the information because the internet fucking loves to do that too they love to like shit on someone who's trying to play the game by the rules and call a judge like you see that constantly in lots of different places online Players who think everything always works out in a specific way and calling a judge is bad and just it's, it's very, very bothering. As someone who played the game very competitively for a very long time, I played the game by the rules and I expected my opponents to play the game by the rules. And and the people that wanted to throw me under the bus at time for playing the game by the rules, fuck them. Because I showed up and I spent 40 hours that week practicing magic and I traveled, you know, six or 10 hours, whatever. You better believe I expected my opponent to play the game by the rules. And again, like, I'm not going to say that the magic tournament rules are perfect because there's definitely not. And there's definitely a number of feel bad moments that can be built into the magic tournament rules. What I am saying is that if there are things that you think are actively wrong with the Magic Tournament rules that create these feel bads that shouldn't happen, you should be upset with Wizards of the Coast and the people that make Magic the Gathering and have the power to change those rules. Because getting upset with this player and vilifying this player isn't going to prevent that same bad rule from getting someone else in the future. The player is just there to give themselves the best possible advantage to win the game legally within the